I'm Chrissy Chin, XRN with no business degree turned CEO of a seven figure brand. But it wasn't all that long ago that I was craving more money and time and was desperate to figure out how to create the life I dreamed of. After a few failed attempts and lessons learned every step of the way, I reached my goals of building a powerful standout brand online that I have today. A brand that gives me more freedom than I ever thought possible and is serving thousands across the globe, changing their lives every day. I created the Badass is the New Black podcast to give you the confidence in your already badass self and equip you with the business knowledge in a no-fluff, step-by-step way so you can put it into action now and build your own powerful standout brand online. A brand that attracts your ideal clients that are ready to buy and learn how to scale your business through automation just like I did. So you can work less and enjoy more of your life. If you are a new or experienced ambitious entrepreneur or in network marketing ready to turn your side hustle into a real business you love, make an impact on the world and create the life you dream of, you are in the right place, my friend. Let's dive in. Huge shout out to Mitch Du, which I think Mitch is really Michelle. She left a review on Badass is the New Black podcast saying, A bright light, Chrissy never ceases to amaze me, always keeping her audience in the know with business tips and real life savvy. She is wise beyond her years and truly wants to see everyone succeed in reaching their dreams. Thanks, girl. What an awesome review to leave on the podcast. Today, I want to talk about what makes network marketers successful in network marketing? Because I know there's a lot of you out there listening that um, are in this industry. And there's something that I see across the board all too often when I look at leaders, rising leaders that are rising up in network marketing or that have already reached that success. And when I think back about when, when I was really heavily building my network marketing business, this really is what I was. And the, the leaders that break through and really shine are the ones, are you ready? Drum roll, please. The ones that embrace the fact that they are becoming a life and a business coach. This kind of was just brought to my attention today. I wasn't even planning on recording on this today, but it just a light bulb kind of went off when I was thinking about being a business coach and being, um, you know, helping people in their life, learning business lessons that apply to life and learning life lessons that apply to business. And I was thinking about network marketing and my network marketing audience. So if you're in network marketing, listen carefully. Um, but it's really embracing those life coaching skills and those business coaching skills. Because the reality is when you're in network marketing, you have to have other business builders or people under you building the business in order to really reach those ranks and levels that you're striving for and to reach that residual income that is abundant over and over and over again every single month. There's really only so far you can get in network marketing building the business all by yourself, meaning you have no one else really sharing about the products um, that your company has to offer that you have to offer. And so thinking back about that journey and um, what really made the difference and what I think makes a difference for a lot of people is realizing that by, by offering your products or services, you essentially can be a life coach. You're helping them make better choices in their life. You're helping them find conveniences in their life and living their best life by using the products that you have. And then in network marketing, what's really specific is that you have that business piece. So being that business coach is what really helps your business thrive and grow and expand um, really well. So the question is, how savvy are you as a life coach and as a business coach? How in touch and in tune are you with your clients? And that goes for network marketers and people who are not in network marketing. Um, in your business, you're selling a product or service. How in touch are you with the clients that are purchasing your product or that need your product? Are you here to serve them? Are you showing them that you're here for service and helping them make their life better with the product or service that you have to offer? 
And then specifically, you know, this will apply to business coaches, but in network marketing, you know, how are you talking about the business? How are you talking about the opportunity? How are you supporting your team in being a good coach and a leader for them so that they can thrive in what they're doing? And there's a couple stories that um, come to mind when I think about this and, and speaking with builders and on the beginning of their journey. And I remember meeting with a leader and really just talking about company aside, what are your goals in life? What are your dreams? What do you, what is your ideal life look like? And that's where that life coaching piece really came in handy and really embracing that just helping someone think about their life, where they are now, where they want to go and where's the missing piece in the middle. What do they need to do in order to work towards that dream or that goal so that they can be living their absolute best life or the, the life that they dream of because our dream life can absolutely 100% become reality. And so I always think about that. And I always remember she always points out like that was it for me. That was what really helped me see like the potential that I had and what I want and make the decision to actually go for it and put in the effort to reach that, that dream life that I want for us. Um, and so just thinking about, um, you know, where you are in your business and how you're serving your people and are you helping them think about where they want to go? Are you inspiring them? I hear so many people say like, Oh, I just can't motivate people. Well, people can't really be motivated, but they can be inspired and then they motivate themselves to do the thing that they're going to do. Let's take a tiny little break from this badass podcast to talk about Kajabi, or as my husband calls it, Punjabi. Babe, it starts with a K. K-A-J-A-B-I. This is the platform that literally makes all the magic happen. It's plug and play, no coding necessary. And guess what, you guys? The best thing about it is that you get your very own mobile app with it. I looked into building an app and it was going to be over $100,000. You get your own right there. The platform is so affordable too. So instead of paying for individual platforms like your CRM system, which is going to host your email, your landing pages, which is going to capture your email, your website, which is going to be where all the magic happens, a community space, it's literally all in one. So it doesn't matter if you want to host courses, educational classes, have libraries in there for your team. This is absolutely the way to go. And I have a month free for you to check it out. So hop over to my website, thechrissychin.com forward slash Kajabi, K-A-J-A-B-I. And you can check out a month for free. I cannot wait to see what you create. Please do me a favor, send me a DM, send me an email once you've created something so I can see it and check it out. Can't wait for you to get started and scale your business like a badass boss. All right, let's get back to the podcast. Then really for business coaching, what makes a great business coach? Um, being able to listen to people and being able to hold other people accountable and give it to them straight and not just let them get away with anything. Like a best friend might um, give you that relax, that, that, you know, long cord of saying like, oh, it's fine. You know, you're not working on it at all. Like, a coach is like, wait a minute, girl, like, what are your dreams? What are your goals? The way that you're doing things now, is that going to get you there? Because insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So if that's all you're doing, you have to shift what you're doing and you have to work for it. So a coach pushes people and, you know, it's always great to ask how, you know, what are your goals? How do you want, when do you want to get there? And are you willing to let me push you to get there and not be your best friend or your, your mom letting you get out of things, but actually be your coach and push you. And as much as you show up, I'll show up for you. Right? So thinking about that, um, in being a coach, are you listening? Are you listening to what they want? Or are you just trying to push your agenda on them? Because pushing what you think is best for them is not a good coach. A good coach is listening, asking questions about what they want, what they're good at, what they maybe need to build some confidence in, and helping guide them 
to find those things. It's not, it doesn't mean a good coach is not having all of the answers. It's asking questions to just get them to think more. And really what makes a really good coach is if you're able to ask questions in a way or the right questions to have the other person, the person that you're coaching come up with the answers themselves. So if you're talking with someone on your network marketing team about sharing and how to share, it's not like, hey, I think you need to go out and teach these classes or, hey, I think you really need to go live on your social media more. No, asking questions to get them to come up with the best way for them to share about the products or for them to share about the business or for them to build their audience, right? Because we need more of an audience to have any kinds of, any kind of clients to sell any type of product or service. So asking them what they enjoy doing and then ask them, why don't you enjoy the other things? Well, I'm just really scared. Well, let's talk through that. Is that something that you can break through? Because you actually might really enjoy it. You're just acting, you're just scared right now to go live. But actually in reality, your people are online. And so this would actually make the most sense for you. You have a beautiful brand and you just have this unique personality about you that people would be really drawn to. So can we get through your fear and get through that? Or is there something else? A different way that you want to do it and having them come up with the answer. People don't like to be told what to do. So if you're saying you should do this, you should do that. You know, you need to do this. You need to do that. People are kind of a little bit resistant. I'm like, Ugh, do I really want to do it? But if you can ask the right questions and get them to come up with it, and maybe you even give some examples of what worked for you and then say, so what is it that would help you share a little bit more or help you build your audience and you talk through those things. So again, being a great listener is what makes a coach really, really good. And then not putting your agenda first, but putting their agenda first and just guiding them through the process of figuring out what's going to work for them and how to get there. All right. So that's it. Super short episode. Um, until next week, just think about your business and how you're showing up for people and how you're serving people. Are you a good life coach? Are you a good business coach? Because that's going to make the difference. <laughs>